She was born at 1.04 a.m. and when she came out and I just saw her, it was just the best moment ever. Just to know that she was okay and that I had my baby girl finally, it was just, it was a miracle. It really was a true miracle. I'm Carly, I'm 37 years old. I'm a school teacher, primary school teacher, and Mark's a boilermaker welder. He works on the mines at the moment, um, fly in, fly out, two weeks on, one week off. We've been together for 15 years, married for eight, and together for seven years before that. Everything happens for a reason, and try and look at what the reason is, and I truly believe now that it took so long to create her because she's just, she's perfection and takes a long time to create perfection. And also everyone around us are just so happy for us. I like just, I cannot tell you how happy people are for us. After trying for a year to fall pregnant and not being successful, we went to the doctor who then referred us to a fertility centre. It took seven years um, of trying. We did 13 IVF attempts. We did six IVF cycles before falling pregnant. Fell pregnant, very excited, um, went for our 12 week scan, got told everything was fine. And then two days later, I had a miscarriage. After another six cycles, so that was 12 cycles, fell pregnant again, and then had a miscarriage at eight weeks. And then we actually took a break. Um, for a bit, went back, did our 13th cycle and fell pregnant with Shanae. That was the cycle that we made a lot of changes. Mark gave up smoking, he quit for three months and really cut back on his alcohol intake. People need to be made aware that, you know, um, smoking does affect you. You know, for men, they need to be smoke free. It takes, you know, 100 days for the sperm to mature, so you need to have you know, very little alcohol and, you know, no smoking for at least 100 days. I gave up coffee, I gave up chocolate, which I absolutely love, and soft drink, and just tried to eat healthier. A lot of fruit, vegetables, um, cut out, you know, um, fried food, processed food. It was probably the healthiest I've ever been. Actually, wasn't meant to go for my blood test the day I found out. I was having ovarian hyperstimulation, I was in a lot of pain. So the nurse said, um, come in and we'll do a blood test just to make sure you're okay because it you know, can be um, quite dangerous. So I wasn't expecting you know, to hear good news and she rang and she said, you are pregnant, definitely pregnant. So it was mi totally mixed emotions the whole way throughout my pregnancy. For myself, Mark, both of our families, we were all, so excited, happy, but really scared at the same time. I just, I didn't want to go through losing another baby. The, the whole journey was hard. I think it was particularly hard on my mum and Mark seeing, you know, the, the toll it took on me because obviously doing IVF, it's, the woman is the one that's, you know, um, involved a lot more and, you know, you have to have the blood tests and the injections and the egg collection, which I found really difficult. They said to me a couple of times, you know, maybe that's enough, but I was just determined. I wanted a baby more than anything in this world and I just couldn't imagine my life without a baby. It just actually makes me a bit upset now. Just, I get a bit emotional because just, yeah, knowing that maybe I couldn't have had a baby was just really hard. I just wanted a baby more than anything in the world and now I have the most perfect little girl. So I've just ma it's made it all worthwhile. Every heartbreaking moment has just all been worth it.